In the next few weeks, Victron will release a software update for all the charging stations in the market. So everything that you already have will be redesigned from scratch. Basically, the entire web interface will be new. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how this version will look like because I already installed a beta version in one of my charging stations. And I'm going to show you how old one look and how the new one look. So let's get started. Welcome back to CS Tech, I'm Claudio, I will start with my disclaimer, I'm not a native English speaker, so don't hate me if I misspell something. So, in this video I'm going to talk about Victron Charging Station and about their new software update. Basically, the entire web interface for the charging station will be redesigned from scratch, so you will have a new user interface that will be on the same line with all Victron software. Basically, you see graphic interface version new for inverters, the charging station will be in the same line, but I'm going to show you how these look. Before we start, we have some uh, problem to fix. First of all, I'm going to make a small uh, detour and I'm going to explain you how charging station from Victron works because I noticed that many people believe that if you don't have a Victron system, you cannot use the charging station and it is wrong because the Victron charging station basically is designed to work also as a standalone device. You just need to connect to the grid, the charging station, connect it to Wi-Fi and of course just install the Victron uh, Connect app and the charging station will be paired with your phone and in this way you can use the charging station from Victron as a standalone device. You can also change the current, change the line. You can char charge in one phase, in three phase, everything can be made from your mobile phone. Of course, if you have a Victron uh, inverter, the charging station will be completed in the same ecosystem. And of course, you will have the auto function, function that it's able to pick up the excess of the energy from the grid and of course, put it in your car. So basically, if you decide to buy a charging station first, don't worry, you can use it without Victron. And later, if you install Victron, the charging station will be one with your system. Now, let's go back to our charging station web interface. I have two charging stations. One, it's used for uh, charging my smart cars and one for Tesla. For smart, I have still the old software, it's basically 1.9, I think. So this is the stable version and this is the web interface. As I uh, explained you earlier, if you don't have a Victron system, you have only a schedule and manual available. Auto is not available because the Victron uh, cannot communicate with charging station because it doesn't exist. So if you have only the charging station, you will have interface without these colorful uh, blocks. Basically, everything will be gray over here. So the charging station will work as a charging station. You can set up the amps and of course you can start and uh, stop the car by pressing this button. On the top, you have the settings. It's disposed in several tabs. As you can see, we have networks, we have general, we can schedule, we can ring light, access and backup and firmware. So if you have a Victron system, as you can see, this is my real system. The grid is red, the AC load is green, and of course the production is yellow and the battery is fully charged. So in this way, I can select auto mode. And in this way, the charging station will know that I have almost 11 kilowatts feeding to the grid and if my car is connected we'll move that energy to my car. Charging station can be charged in auto mode in two ways. First of all can start with one phase and later if you have more energy can be uh, automatically moved to three phase. So this is the the nice thing where you have the entire ecosystem. So basically this is the web interface for a charging station in this moment. Now let me show you the new user interface because everything is new. I have here a beta it's a version as you can see okay, 2.0 beta 1. So let me show you how this user, user interface look like. First of all the first tab in the dashboard if you click over here you will see your system. If you don't have a Victron system yet all this tab will be with zero. So you will move to the next tab. The next tab is charging tab and from here you can see an animation. You see the uh, entire, uh, I don't know, power. You, as you can see on the right side, you have session time, you have energy, station cost, you have station saved cost and total energy. In this moment, I have connected my car, is a Tesla connected. If I select the car in auto mode and I will go to 32 amps and I hit start, my charging station will start manually. Basically, if I have energy from the sun, will pick up from the sun. If the sun is not available because I'm charging it during the night, my car will drain energy from the grid. And as you can see, the charging station start with one phase. Now it's in, on two phase. 
and of course we'll be moving to three phase once the energy is available and as you can see over here my car is charging in this moment with around five kilowatts now let's move to auto mode if i move in auto my charge the charging station will measure let's go back to dashboard we'll see you have energy that you are feeding to the grid yes i have okay let's do it and the charging station it's in auto mode and right now as you can see it's charging at 10 amps and if you stay here you will notice that the amps will uh, will increase 6 amp i think my car is already fully charged when i make this video for you but you must trust me <laughs> the car will receive energy in auto mode as much he needed from from the grid so basically this is the charging station web interface the new one the settings are moving on the left side as you can see you have network general here you have charger, JS device, if you have a Victron display, if you have a charging station with display, daytime, others, schedule, ring light, access, firmware, and backup. And the most beautiful thing that you have over here, it's team. As you can see, I have light one. Oh, it's more powerful. And my prefer, I have dark one. So basically, when you are in the dashboard, as you can see on the right side, you can also see your charging station. As I explain you later, my charging station is in auto mode. And as you can see, the, the charging increase and also the grid will decrease because the energy from the grid is moving to the car. So let's move from down over here to my charging page. Now, what you can see over here, it's in the beta version. Of course, the fully version will be more, more uh, animated because as I understand, the charging design from here will be redesigned. And of course, you will see here some animation from Victron. So this is the Victron charging station new interface. So what do you think about this new update? I'm very curious to see your opinion. In my opinion, I prefer this version looks more professional and of course will be in the same lineup with the new graphic interface from Victron Inverter so I prefer this one but I'm very curious to know what interface did you prefer the old one or the new one and in the meantime let me stop my car because it's already 90% charging so if you want to see more video like this don't hesitate hit the subscribe, hit the subscribe button hit the bell and of course thank you for watching bye